Good morning. Um, today is um, Monday. What's today? Oh, hold on. August 29th. Um, I am nine weeks and six days. So, um, yeah, my belly is really popping out. It's been um, out like the last week. Um, so, it's not huge or anything. But, uh, let's see if I can see it. Well, it's kind of just looking like pudgy right now, but it's it's round. Um, anyway, so I don't know when's the last time that I updated, um, like, this vlog. And I really want to stay consistent because, um, you know, either I'm going to be posting this on YouTube for you guys to, like, follow my journey. Or it might just be for my, my future um, daughter or son. I don't know. But um, I'm thinking I'm going to post it. I'm just such a private person, but I think I'm going to post it. Anyways, so some recent updates. Um, I was having extreme headaches, like pretty much went through a whole Tylenol bottle in two weeks, um, which you can take up to 12 extra strength Tylenols. Let me make sure I'm telling you the truth. 200 milligrams. Um, no, I'm sorry, eight. Sorry, take up to eight in a day of um, the 200 extra strength Tylenols and be okay. So yeah, I wasn't like overdosing or nothing like that. I don't want y'all to get to me. Definitely being safe and listening to what my doctor says is right. But I took almost a full bottle within two weeks um, because I was having extreme headaches, like not really able to like stand up, open my eyes, like be active in the world. Um, and that was happening for over two weeks. So what I realized is that um, I cut out coffee, um, like period. I cut out coffee, like caffeine, um, because I do, well, used to drink a medium cup of coffee every single day to get my gears going. And I completely cut it out because I just was like, okay, you know, caffeine is not healthy for the baby. Da, 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 da. Realized that that is why my head was killing me because I was, um, it was withdrawals basically. <laughs> sounds a little crazy but really it was withdrawals um my body needed some caffeine so I do now um and I still haven't went back to like Dunkin Donuts like lattes which is what I really like um but because I feel like I don't know last time I had one which is like a few days ago like my heart was like racing like too much so I've been anyways just drinking my caffeinated tea which I which the brand is Tazo that I get from Target really good I get the they have like five levels of caffeine I think I get the third one um and it actually does really good and it takes my headaches away so that's no longer a problem thank god because I was dying I was like is this what I'm getting instead of morning sickness Whew, okay I gotta take a breath because um Anyways, yeah, you know, breathing, um, it's not hard, but I really have to make sure that air is going all the way through my lungs and out because I guess I'm breathing for two now. <laughs> so it does take a little more air. So sometimes you just take a second and breathe. Anyway, um, so that is really good. I've been getting the peachy green tea one. I love peach anything, so. That's what I've been drinking, and it has really been helping my headaches and my caffeine, like, dosage that I need every day. Um, also, um, I was having some really bad, like, side pains, like, when I was, like, laying on my side. That only happened for a few days, but, like, on both sides when I was trying to sleep wasn't working. Like, it was really uncomfortable, so I had to lay on my back, which kind of felt uncomfortable, too, which I thought was weird because usually laying on your back is uncomfortable like when your belly is like big, like when you're in your third trimester or, you know, late second trimester. Um, so that was kind of weird, but that only happened for like three days in a row. So that's okay now. Um, <clears throat> what else? So much has happened. I have been having nausea. Um, well, I was having nausea like maybe four days ago. I've been drinking coffee. I mean, drinking caffeine consistently every single day. So... I was having nausea maybe five days ago and um really which is a serious game changer is saltine crackers my mom bought me this big old pack of like individual packs of saltine crackers and i mean it's like the real real remedy to nausea like it goes away immediately 
So, um, I haven't actually been thrown up, but I was very nauseous and those crackers were everything like really came in handy exactly what I need. Um, also lately, like the last week and like probably the last two weeks, I've been really craving, um, sweet stuff like, um, like chocolates, cookies, um, like Sprite and I cut out soda like over six years ago like I don't drink soda at all but my body has been really wanting a Sprite I think I'm going to just fall into that craving today and just try to scratch that itch because even every time I pass a convenience store I'm like Sprite <laughs> so I'm probably about to just do that today um I've been yeah like when I first started um when I first started when I first n realized I was pregnant I was eating very healthy a lot of fruit a lot of vegetables I was making my green smoothies again like I was doing really good as far as eating um now I'm honestly really not doing good so I have to get back into it um starting this week because the last two weeks I've kind of been not doing so good like right now I'm eating um, pizza which is my second time eating pizza in like a week um of course, it tastes really good, but yeah, I haven't been eating much fruit, but I did just grab me a banana, even though I don't like bananas. I like banana flavored things, but I don't really like eating bananas, but I really need to eat some fruit. And of course, I got some water. Um, gestational diabetes is a real thing with um, black women specifically while they're pregnant, which is getting diabetes. Like, it would be regular diabetes if I wasn't pregnant. But, you know, I'm craving these things because I am pregnant. Um, so, it's gestational diabetes. Don't know what gestational means, but I know it's attached to pregnancy. So, watch out for that, ladies, because um, that can really lead to some serious complications with you and your um, expecting baby. So, um, yeah, I really got to watch my my eating, my intake. Um my next appointment is next week, next Friday on the 9th. So I get to get um, an on top ultrasound. I don't know if I told y'all, but my first ultrasound was not on top. It was inside. Yeah, it was inside. It was weird. I didn't even expect that. But this one, um, the baby is big enough, so it gets to be on top now. Um, and I get to see my baby. Hopefully the legs are open so I can figure out what it is. But I'm probably still too early because I'll only be like three months at that time actually and tomorrow I'm in 10 weeks so no I will not be three months I'll be a week from three months next week next Friday but anyways um yeah so that's some updates of my health um I'm feeling really fine um I do not I realize I don't want to drink a lot of water at night though I am be though I am thirsty like now because I just woke up but it allows me to pee less during the night. Like I still wake up like five times, but usually when I'm drinking water all day and drinking water at the night, um, cause my body is just asking me for water. I pee literally a hundred times a day and like 50 times throughout the night. So I really don't get a good consecutive sleep. Um, so I am, yeah, I'm doing that. Probably not the healthiest thing, but I have been able to sleep longer and a little better, especially since my sides are not hurting. Um, and yeah, but it's probably not the best because my throat is dry, like right now. Also, I forgot to mention, since the beginning of pregnancy, my lips have been ridiculously peeling. Like not even necessarily dry, but like the skin on them have been like really peeling. So I don't know if anybody had that because I feel like that's weird. My boyfriend's always like, you need to put on some chapstick, your skin pillow. But honestly, um, I really think that it's a part of the pregnancy. Like, I'm not making that up. So anyways, I'm about to dive into this pizza and this banana and this water and married at first sight. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are going. Like, I'm so excited. Um, I just um, put out my official announcement to my family. Um, it was such a cute little announcement I found off of um, Etsy. Um, so, and everybody's super excited for me. Like, everybody's half team girl, half team boy. I'm thinking I'm team girl, but I'm really fine with either or. But anyways, all right, you guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.